An 11th hour attempt to save Occupy Madison fails in Dane County Court, but the campers are still here. A late ruling from a judge boils down simply free speech does not amount to free rent. Good evening. I'm Eric Franke and I'm Sarah Carlson. First tonight at 10 people staying at the Occupy Madison protest site were already packing up today before the judge made her decision. What began as a protest ultimately became a homeless camp. The night team's David Douglas has continuing coverage and he's live on East Washington tonight with the latest David. Police have decided, Sarah, that the people who are here tonight can stay one more night because that ruling did come down so late in the evening tonight. There's definitely a celebratory atmosphere here or a party of some sorts, whether it's saying goodbye to their friends or just trying to drown their sorrows and not knowing where they might be going next. There's definitely a good bit of drinking going on on what appears to finally be the last night of Occupy Madison on the 800 block of East Washington. I feel sad that they're going to break it up. The occupation is finally over. I think it's some pretty good people out here. A couple of bad ones too, but most of them is real good people out here. You know, and everybody out here is just trying to survive. A fight that for men like Wesley will go on after attorneys okay. lost well, a fight on his behalf in a Dane County courtroom. The First Amendment does not guarantee the right to communicate one's views at all times and in all places or in any manner that a person might desire to make them. With a the restraining order denied, the next question is what will become of Occupy Madison's lawsuit against the city? Their own counsel still doesn't have the answer. To what extent we will choose to con continue pursuing this with the city is kind of an open question. If they move all this stuff away, we're not going to move it back. I mean, that would be ridiculous. The late decision led to leniency from law enforcement. The campers will get one more night on the 800 block. The plan will be tomorrow at noon. We'll go down and check. Um, there was a lot of compliance already today, so we're um, hoping that continues for tomorrow. As the tents break down and the cars are packed up, those who have called them home hope this end might just finally be the new start they need. Stroke of bad luck, man. I don't know. I guess I um, lost my job. I had a couple of deaths in the family and, you know, and it happened like so quick, you know, my mom died, my girl died, and I just ain't been right since then. I lost my job and I ain't never been able to bounce back. So Wesley and everyone else will have to be gone by noon tomorrow. Police are hoping for voluntary compliance and hoping they don't have to remove anyone. But the city has made clear if anyone stays past that point, they will be trespassing. If you happen to be driving by the area after that and notice some of the structures like the hoop houses you see that has the C on it behind me, those are allowed to stay until Wednesday at noon to give the folks a little extra time to take them down. Apparently the structures took a good bit of time to construct and they want to be able to preserve them or move them to another site if they end up getting the opportunity. It's good to hear it's been peaceful so far. Thanks. David.